Hi, this is Lauren from LSP Actions and in this complete tutorial video I'm going to show you exactly how to use the Impressions Shapes digital backgrounds. I'll be using the Dark Heart as an example, but the same principle goes for whether you're using the Heart, the Star or the Moon, and in light or dark. I'm going to show you how you can customise this to turn individual layers on or off, lighten and darken, how to change the colour of the background, and how to mask and add the baby in. This video is 27 minutes long. This is a complete video tutorial where I go through everything in so much detail. If you're used to using the LSP digital backgrounds and you're really good at Photoshop, you can probably hop straight in and use this so long as you know about turning the layers on or off and masking baby in and using smart objects too. So if you know all that, you can just jump right in or skip around this video a little bit to skip on until you find the point that you want to watch. But if you're an absolute beginner or you'd like a total recap of how to do this, then I do recommend you go grab yourself a drink, sit down and watch the video or edit along with the video too so I can show you exactly how to use this digital background. Okay, so let's go ahead and open up your shape in Photoshop. First of all, you obviously need to download um, your purchase file from the website. And you come up here to File, Open. Locate your downloaded file on your computer. You may have just find this in your downloads file, but you're probably going to want to save this somewhere else and back this up so you can use it again and again and again. You will need to decide whether you want to use the dark version of the shape or the light version of the shape. I'm going to be uh, demonstrating with the heart, but the principles and the layers are exactly the same whether you've got the heart, the moon or the star. So decide first whether you want to open the dark or the light. This depends on your image that you've shot, whether you've shot on a darker blanket or a lighter blanket. So I'm going to go ahead and open up dark. Double click this and you will see this opens up into Photoshop here. If your screen looks different to mine and you don't see your layers panel here, come up to window and choose layers so that they show. I have my layers panel uh, nice and big for demonstration purposes. You may find it looks a little more like this when you open up, but either way it's fine. If you're an absolute beginner with Photoshop, and you're really not sure about how to use layers, about how to use, for example, the brush tool or even layer masks, I'd really recommend getting on YouTube and searching some Photoshop um, beginner tutorials because this is not a beginner's digital background. It doesn't mean you can't use it. It doesn't mean you can't follow along exactly as I do on this video, but it will really help you if you've got an understanding already about how layer masks and um, editing in general in Photoshop works. So when shooting baby for this digital background, you don't need to worry too much about the background colour. I mean, if you shoot on a brown mid-tone to dark blanket, that will really help you. But if you shoot on blue, red, green or any other colour, um, you can adapt this to suit your image rather than the other way around. And I'm going to show you exactly how to do all of that in just a moment. I would recommend shooting baby on a smooth fabric, nothing patterned, nothing too textured, just as smooth as you can get it because that will look a lot more realistic when you edit the baby into this image. If you've worked with LSP digital backgrounds in the past, all of these layers will make total sense to you and you should have a real head start with what to do. If you've worked with digital backgrounds in the past that are flat images and you prefer to work that way, you can simply turn on these layers to customise the background how you want it to look and then flatten it down. For example, you can click the little eye icon here to turn these layers on or off. You will notice next to each layer title it has a little instruction, turn on or off. So you can turn the blanket on. You can turn the cutouts on, you will have the cutouts with the moon and the heart version of the impression shapes, but not the star. Whichever shape you've purchased, the layers will look pretty much identical. On the light version of the digital background, you also have a whiten more option that you can turn on or off, simply by clicking the eye icon here. So if you shot baby on a white or very bright blanket, you can use this to adapt the digital background to suit your image even more. 
again rather than the other way around rather than adapting your shot and painstakingly editing everything to adapt it for the digital background these digitals have limitless combinations that you can use really easily to adapt it to your image so let's go back over here to the dark digital and again these principles are exactly the same whether you use the moon or the star or the heart you can add more texture to the background you can darken see how i'm just turning these on or off lighten and change color you can change the color to absolutely anything to suit your image and I will show you exactly how to do that after we've added baby in because we want to use this layer to adapt the color to our baby image and not the other way around. If you haven't already, it's really important um, and I'd really recommend that you read the PDF guide that comes with your download. This is a free guide that comes with your download. You can simply open this up, not into Photoshop, open it up into your PDF reader and you will get a guide about the best shooting practices for shooting baby for the digital impressions shapes. So you have more information here about planning the shot, um, what settings you need to use. You need to shoot baby on a smooth fabric. So use a darker than normal fabric for the darker shapes and a mid-tone cream is ideal for the lighter shapes, although you can use white. As I've just shown you, you can adapt it for white. The images are lit from the right, no, the, the impression shapes are lit from the right. So if you have your light camera left, you're gonna to want to flip baby and I'll show you how to do that too. You need to shoot baby from above. Baby can be full wrapped, baby can be half wrapped, eggshell wrapped or unwrapped, um, dressed, undressed. They work equally well. Make sure that you curl baby around so they look nice and cozy. If baby's straight up and down, it's not gonna look so good. It's not gonna be that much of a pleasing image. You really want baby to be curled nicely. These images are all by Anna Brandt and they're absolutely beautiful. So I do recommend reading this PDF guide uh, before you shoot baby, if possible. So I'm gonna go ahead and open baby. I'm gonna open baby separately at first because it's really important that you edit baby first before you put them in because that's gonna be so much easier for you to have baby ready edited. So let's go ahead and choose this image here by Anna Brandt. You can see baby is wrapped but whether baby is wrapped or not, you need to just edit as if you would be editing for a normal session. So you want the background nice and smooth, any distractions removed, and any temporary blemishes on the skin um, taken away. Don't mess around too much with the original contrast or anything like that. You do want a nice bit of contrast in there so you have these shadows to add in um, and to kind of reference from for your digital background. So I'm gonna go ahead and edit this image using the LSP Signature Newborn uh, Photoshop Action Suite. But what I'm gonna do, this isn't an editing video, so I'm just gonna speed this up super quickly. But if you want to learn more about using the LSP Signature Newborn Photoshop Action Suite, you can go on the LSP website, go to the Signature Newborn page, and there are an absolute ton of videos on there that talk to you about newborn skin editing, how much is too much, you know, you don't want to go too far. So all I'm going to do is take away these little blemishes, remove some of the redness, balance out some of the jaundice, and that's that. And as you can see, I've sped this video up uh, really, really quickly because we're doing a tutorial about editing digital backgrounds here. Not about skin editing, but do make sure that you've edited the image as fully as you normally do before adding to the digital. It's kind of really important that you take the time to add your normal skin editing first and to balance baby out. And then what you can do with this image that you're going to be using is you can either save it, save that as the edit, or you can just pop it to one side for a moment and leave it up there. So let's go back to our digital and I'm going to show you how to add baby in. So I'm just going to go ahead and close the action panel here. And I'm going to come down here to where it says baby open group on the layers panel. 
This is a group, which means there are a load more layers hiding in here that you can use to edit the baby. So click this little arrow here, this is a drop down, and this will open up a load more layers, including one called, it's got a red highlight next to it, and a little heart shape on the layer mask called Your Baby Here. So come and click on this layer, and make sure you're not on the layer mask, but you're here on the transparent layer. It's kind of like a checker box layer. So make sure this one is kind of selected. It has the highlight around the edge of it. And double click this. What this will do, it will open up as a smart object, a brand new image that you can use to add your baby on. And when you save this image, it will save the baby back to the digital. Let me show you how. So I'm gonna make sure I'm on this thumbnail and the layer, not the black heart, the transparent box and double click and you will see a brand new image has opened up and this image is called your baby here we still have the heart um, open and this is opened as a brand new separate photoshop image called your baby here and you need to paste or um, place your baby your edited baby into this image first i'd recommend turning on again using the little eye icon here this guide and this will tell you the light is coming from camera right. So you may need to flip the baby if your light is coming from camera left to make sure the lighting matches up realistically. Place baby here, light is coming from the right, flip baby if needed. So with your, uh, your baby here selected, come onto the image that you have edited. Make sure this is flat by clicking flat and right clicking flatten image if needed. Select all and you will notice marching ants come up around the edge. Go back onto uh, up here and click Edit, Copy. And this has made a copy of your image. Now you can go back to your baby here, Edit, Paste, and you will notice baby has been pasted in underneath the guide layer. Another way of adding baby in is to place them. So if you don't have your baby image still open, if you saved and closed that image, don't worry. You can come up here to File, Place Embedded, click on this, locate the file on your computer where the baby image is stored, choose it and hit Place, and this will place it onto your, um, onto your image here. And you will notice it has a transform bounding box around it. That means you can drag the corners out and resize to fit the heart. If you've pasted baby in, you'll notice this is just a still image. It's not transformable. So what you need to do is either hold down Control or Command and hit T on the keyboard. And that will bring up your free transform bounding box here. Or you can come edit and click free transform. So I'm gonna roughly move baby and resize to fit inside this heart guide here. If you have the moon or the star, this will be a moon or a star shape. If you click outside the transform box, you can rotate baby like this and hit enter. If you need to liquefy baby at this point to fit the shape a little bit better, you can. You can do that by coming up to filter. You don't have to, of course, but filter, liquefy. Make sure down the bottom you've got show backdrop so you can see the heart shape. And then making sure that you are clicked on the forward warp tool, you can slightly liquefy baby by dragging and clicking to fit the shape of the bowl a little more. So let's just bring baby down a little there. If baby is in a moon, you may wish to liquefy into more of a rounded moon shape, shape a little more, and hit OK. Now before saving this back to our heart layer, or our, our moon, or our star impressions, you need to come up here to the guide and turn it off, so you're left with just the baby layer. Come up to File and hit Save, and what this is doing, it's saving it back over here to your heart. So simply close it down and you will notice baby has appeared onto your image. The reason baby is showing in the heart shape is because there is a layer mask 
on this layer. Layer masks, um, if you don't know what they are, I'd really recommend getting on YouTube and finding out a little bit more about them, but basically they're like scratch cards. So in your layer panel, you will have the layers, whether they are adjustment layers like this, whether they're image layers like this, and next to it, and to the right, you have a box, and the box is either black or white or a combination of the two. They're like lotto scratch cards. Black means hidden, so therefore you can see the baby here in the thumbnails in a square, but the black here is covering that up and the white is a heart shape, therefore that is what is showing. So you need to click onto the layer mask and this is where we're going to start masking baby a little. But before we do that, and the whole reason this is left as a heart shape is to allow you to know what to change the background colour to. The heart isn't perfect, it just allows you a visual guide. So I'm going to come up here to the baby layer, the baby group, and close the group for a minute. You see this little drop down arrow here? I'm going to close it. We can still see baby, but baby is hidden within this file folder here. And I'm going to come just underneath baby to this change colour layer. And I'm going to click here and turn it on. And you will notice it goes blue, purple, green. It will, it will change colour, basically change the background colour. And now to adapt this to your image, you need to come along a little bit here and click on this icon. Double click it and it will bring up the hue and saturation properties panel. You have three options, hue, saturation and lightness. Start off with the hue and start sliding it until it matches uh, the colour of your background. Or of course you can change it to something completely different, it's up to you. But for this tutorial we're going to be we're going to be colour matching. And then you can change the saturation as well to see if it's very bright or very grey. And you can change the lightness a little bit but I really wouldn't recommend doing that one too much right now and I'll show you why in a moment. So let's say about there I'm going to go ahead and close this panel, but again, you can just open it up again by double clicking this icon here. Underneath, you have lighten and darken. So I'm going to turn on the little eye next to the darken layer. Come up to here, you'll see you have an opacity option. This is how transparent this is. So if you turn it down, it doesn't darken at all. If you turn it up, it becomes very dark. So you can simply slide this until it matches the um, the shading in your image as best as possible. But again, you can come back and change this as much as you like as you go. So let's get on with editing baby into the digital now. As you can see, this is still very cut out, but we've managed to adapt and see the, the digital to your image rather than the other way around. So go ahead and open the baby group by clicking the drop down here. Now for this stage of editing the baby, we're going to be working on the layer masks. The layer masks are these black boxes that are next to the thumbnails of the layers here. This is an image thumbnail, it has the baby on that we saved a moment ago and brought back over. These are adjustment layers for darkening the baby, lightening the baby, warming, adding contrast and then an extra colour changer. This colour changer is for changing the, for example, the wrap or any fabric on the baby. Layer masks are like Lotto scratch cards. Black means hide and white means show. For example, if you're on the darkened layer, make sure you're not clicked on here. Make sure you're actually clicked on the black layer mask box. Grab yourself a white brush if your brush colours are different to this, you can simply click here to reset and you can swap from black to white here. Alternatively, you can edit with one hand on your keyboard and you can hit D to reset the brush colours and then you can hit X and you can see here, I'm hitting X on the keyboard and it's swapping my brush from black to white. My brush settings are normal, 100% opacity and you can change the flow depending on how intense you want the brush to come out. So let's go about halfway for now. You can right click the image and you'll get your brush menu coming up. Here you can change the size of the brush and the hardness. When you're masking close to the baby, you're gonna want your brush to be a little bit harder. And when you're doing general large brush, 
you need it to be softer. So for example, I've clicked here on the dark and baby layer mask box. And if I paint over, you can see this is darkening. I'm going to go ahead and undo that. So the first layer mask you want to work on is the Your Baby Here layer, the white heart. Click on this, not on the, the actual thumbnail, click on the black box. I'm going to go ahead and zoom in a little bit. Now there are many ways you can mask the baby, which basically means um, bringing your selection in so just baby is showing and nothing else. I'm using Photoshop CC, so I'm going to use by starting up here on the Quick Selection tool. If you're using a different version of Photoshop, um, you may have different options. You can go on YouTube and search your Photoshop and search how to cut subject out, how to mask and things like that. We're all different the way we like to do it. I'm just going to show you the way I like to do it. You can come up here and you will have the option for select subject. I find this is often quite good, um, a good way to get started. Obviously, we're going to have to really work to select all this little hair and everything. But to get started, you can click select subject. If you have an older version of Photoshop, you will not have this option and you will instead need to drag the object selection tool around here. Once your subject is selected, if there's any bits that aren't selected, for example, say there's a little bit there, you can simply make sure your option is on the plus, drag this over to select. And you can see this has put marching ants around the baby now. And it's not a bad selection at all. But to make sure this is a best selection as possible, I'm going to come up here to select a mask or you can come up here on the select menu at the top and hit select and mask. Your view mode needs to be on red overlay, I find this the best view mode to use. Let's zoom in a little bit around the hair. You can see this hair selection isn't very good. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to come up here, you have these different brush options for selecting and choose the refine edge brush tool and I'm going to lightly brush this over the hair and you will find this gives you quite a good hair cut out depending on the initial contrast in your image. It is important to make sure you have a good selection here and that there are no rough edges because you don't want to just use a soft brush to select baby because that looks kind of fluffy and weird. When you're happy with your selection you can go around um, checking everything, hit OK. going to zoom back out a little bit. Now I'm on the layer mask and the baby is selected. The baby um, is already going to be within this white box so what I need to do really is paint away the background. So come up here and invert the selection by clicking select, inverse. And let's change the selection to everything else apart from baby. Now go ahead, grab your brush, switch to black and you can start painting away around the baby and this is getting rid of the rest of the background there. Now you don't need to do this but just so I can show you I'm going to turn off this colour change for a moment here so we can see what we're painting away. Now baby doesn't look very realistic at all right now. So what you can do is click on the shadow under baby, grab a white brush on a low, lower flow, make it smaller and we can start painting some shadow back in. You can hold down shift on the baby layer here just to click on and off to see your original image so you can see where these shadows are. Shadows aren't big fluffy things that go around baby, you can see they're actually pretty dark and close and this is what you want to mimic. So down here on the layer mask, not the layer, the black box of the shadow under baby, I'm going to start painting and start mimicking the natural shadows in the image. Now these are underneath your baby layer, so the shadow is showing underneath, you can see there. For all of these, um, these layers above your baby, they are clipped in and they will only affect your baby layer. So we have dark and baby here. I'm going to take the flow down even more and I'm going to use this just to add some shadow to the baby. The shadow that would be naturally occurring from this bowl. So 
So I'm using Darken Baby just to darken these areas down a little bit. So it may seem like I'm jumping around a little, but really how you do this does depend on your image. And that is Baby added into the, the Impressions Heart. You can use the same techniques if you're using the moon or if you're using the star. Up here you have colour change. This is if, for example, Baby has a wrap or a hat and you'd like to change the colour. So what you need to do is be on the black box and start painting in. This is coming up as a kind of a very bright blue right now, but don't worry. This is to allow you to see where you're painting. Again, white will show this and black will hide. So if you go over baby's face a little like that, don't worry because you can grab the black brush and you can delete it, paint it away. I've got my finger on X on the keyboard and I'm simply swapping between a black brush and a white brush to really make this selection work. So now I've painted this wrap bright blue, you can double click on the icon and this will bring up the hue and saturation again and you can slide this until you're happy with the colour. We can have any colour we like. Or we can turn that one off, close the baby group and go back to the original colour change here. If you're using the exact same colour as your beanbag fabric, like this, it was blue beanbag fabric, and you're not necessarily using the bump blanket layer, let's turn that one off, I'm just scrolling down, turn the blanket off, then your masking doesn't need to be anywhere near as precise. You can simply paint some of the real blanket in and the real shadows there like this. So as you can see, there are limitless possibilities of what you can do with this digital. And if you would like to watch a little bit more about how to use this, um, how to use it with the pale layers um, and a few other faster videos, then please do visit the LSP YouTube channel or check on the LSP website at www.lsp-actions.com. This is a really beautiful digital and I can't wait to see what you do with it. Please do make sure you post in the LSP Facebook group. I've been Lauren. Thanks for watching.